I wanted to open something that was just really fun that I absolutely could enjoy coming to work and everybody would have a good time and all of our customers would laugh and just enjoy. We have a ton of products that you literally just can't find anywhere that are made from mom and pops and the most obscure places in the United States that are just really unique and one of a kind finds that you definitely can't find on Amazon and just stuff that you would pick up and go, wow, that's really cool. We sell a lot of uh, repurposed goods. One of our best sellers in the whole store is popcorn from South Bend, Indiana. We sell hundreds of bags a week and people just love it. Garage has kind of become sort of like a community for people. A lot of people that live really close to the garage walk, you know, walk here, they have dinner. They come and buy a bag of popcorn, meet their friends on Friday, Saturday nights. We sell a ton of games and people will come in and they'll buy playing cards, some of our charade games, you know, word gesture games, and just sit out in the garage for hours and have drinks, eat dinner, and play games and just, you know, have a good time. And some of like our most popular games that I was talking about with people buying popcorn and candy are like music trivia. We sell a ton of like movie trivia and of course like one of our most popular games in the whole store is drag match for RuPaul's Drag Race. Not only are just for adults, we also have a ton of stuff for kids. We have like these Mars pencils which we sold a lot for school this year. We have a ton of puzzles, you know, from Michelle Obama, Prince, RBG, Golden Girls, Dolly Parton, everything. So this is our pet section, which is an amazing section actually. We have a lot of really cool stuff like, do you look like your dog, dog IQ tests, uh, cat IQ tests, and you know, this section actually is kind of based off of the store. It originated with my two little Pomeranians, pumpkin and catfish, and everyone always asks why is there no P in pumpkin. Well, she was actually a rescue, and that's how they spelled it when I got her. And so I had her for about 15 years, and the store is named after both of them. So this section actually is obviously near and dear to my heart. It's just a really fun vibe. You never meet anyone that comes in that just says, I hate it here. Every day we hear a hundred times, this place is just so cool. I've never seen anything like it. You know, everybody has a ton of questions from what's the yellow paint on your walls to, you know, how long ago did Coca-Cola stop working here? And it's just a really cool vibe.